Hello and good morning. Happy Wednesday. Welcome to my home. This is Charlotte here. I am um, hoping to play with gelatos today and thought let's just do four more cards. I've been very busy with my surprise boxes. About half of them are gone, spoken for. So if you are one that wanted me to hold one for you, please um, go into my messages on Etsy. Please, Etsy, so I don't miss you. Just leave me a message, let me know, and um, I will reserve one. There will be 20. There will be 20, but like I said, about half of them, them are already sold. I um, did my completed my design team project for Artie Mays. That is is uh up so if you haven't seen that and you want to catch that be sure to uh to uh, check that out it's really cute it's a little journal in a box really really cute happy happy with the kit that i used and um i'm doing something it's kind of a surprise so um something for angie and that's coming because i'm almost done with that and um, then I have my Medieval Mirage, and I'm excited to get started with that. But oh, things are just busy, aren't they? Things are just busy, busy. So let's get back to the topic at hand, and that is these cards, okay? Um, I can't even tell you what cards they are because I can't see them. I think there's two Jokers and a, I don't know. I don't know. I think we may have just entered the world of the red diamonds. The blacks, the spades, and the uh, clubs are done. And um, I'm kind of saving the hearts for last because, you know, I mean, I think when you think of the hearts, you kind of think of Alice in Wonderland. And I'm not too sure what I want to do with that. So to save time, I went ahead and I got... Um, out my gesso and I put two coats of gesso on here because my idea is I want to do a flower garden theme with these four. I have no idea if this is going to work or not. The last one that I did, my cards are really curling. I thought about throwing them out, but I didn't. But as you can see, I mean, I'm going to be honest, this is how we're going to learn. Do you see how they're kind of curled up? I mean, they just see that? They just want to curl. So I, you know, I think they're really, really pretty. So I put them on anyway. Remember when we did this? I mean, they are really pretty. They just want to curl on me. And I think that's the vellum. Why? I, I have no idea. But this is where we are. It's exciting. It's exciting. So uh, I'm not giving up on the gelatos. What I want to do are streaks today. Uh, streaks in four different directions. So that is where we're going to start. So I know you're probably all like, just be quiet. Just get to it. Get to it. So I think for our first three colors, we are going to go with these. And to, in order to get the streaks, I am just going to put some gelatos. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? Can you see that? Isn't that so pretty? Just going to put some up here at the top. And um, we're going to spritz it with water and see what we get. And I'm keeping my fingers crossed that this is going to work. Wow, what a pretty neon color. So let's see what happens when we do this. In my spray bottle, my little spritzer. Let's see, are we doing anything? We're not doing a lot. All right, come on. It's streaking, it's just not streaking much. So what does that mean? I guess that means we need more. But see the streaks, they're coming. They are coming. Oh, 
I need for you to let me know if my camera is close enough because somebody had said to me that your camera, it'd be nicer if your camera were closer. I guess the question that I'm wondering right now is how deep do I want the streaks? Ooh. Ooh. All right. Well, I think the more you play, the more you discover. Those of you that have gelatos and haven't pulled them out, I hope this is, ooh, ooh. Okay, guys, I think I'm liking that. I think I am, and so I am gonna leave this The way that it is look at that isn't that pretty so um yeah i'm happy with that one so i am going to leave that and go on to the next one and i think i've discovered that you have to apply more gelato than what i had so let's get into Okay, we did that one uh, from top to bottom. Let's do this one from the side. Let's see what we get. So we've got that. Let's go with a purple. It's quite a dark purple. So let's put, I wonder, this is just really pearlized. Let's see what that will do. It doesn't look like it's going to show up much. And then how about, I mean, let's just put some color on here and see what we get. Let's do this. Can't see, see that's a really pale kind of a pink. Just really, that is too pale. So let's put a green in there. Let's do a little bit more. And you can see how it mixes with the water. I'm not really a big fan of that. Let's put this color over here and see I may end up with a black by doing that but let's see what we get sometimes I think I put the worst things together and it really does just come out nice all right we are we are streaking we are streaking it's pretty, but let's get more up at the top. I don't want to lose the, all the top. I don't want the top to be all white. So let me put just, just the tiniest, tiniest bit of water. Let's see if I can just kind of get it to blend. So I am happy with that too. Look at that. What do you think? Isn't that pretty? Kind of a rainbow effect. That's pretty. So let's move on to card number three. And we will go this way with this card. And let's have a red. And a kind of a gold. And then let's do this blue. And let's start the magic. Oh, 
I think on the next one, ooh, look at that. Okay, look at that. Oh, can you see that? You see that? Isn't that so pretty? Look at that. And I wonder if I put it this way, if I'll get more at the top. Yep, you see, we're learning. We are learning. Ooh, look at the effect. Look at that. <gasps> nice. If you've got gelatos, pull them out. Look at how pretty that is. Oh, beautiful. Okay, we are learning. Here's my first one. I'm just going to get rid of some of that excess water. Here is the second one. I'm going to do the same thing. Just get rid of the excess water. Here's the one that we just did. So we have our last one. And I think for this last one, I am going to... Oh, let's go two ways on this one. Let's go up and let's go down, if that makes any sense at all. So I don't think I've used this color. So let's start with this pretty blue. And then let's put an orange. Just, you know, I'm mixing colors that I'm not even thinking about. Mixing colors that I probably normally would never put together. But um, you never know what you're going to get. This is that one that came out really, really dark. That is too dark. Here is a purple. Let's throw this in there and see what happens. I mean, you never know. It may end up really being beautiful. So we are going to go from the top, and then I think we're going to go from the, bot from the bottom as well. I think I like the deep purple that is in that. Do you see how that remained really deep look at that isn't that pretty so then i think i'm gonna invert it and go the opposite way i'm kind of thinking it might be cool to completely go no let's stick with it we're gonna go this way and see what happens Let's try this. Spritz it. Ooh. Look at that. Oh, look at the, oh, look at the lines in that. It's just so pretty. That is really, really pretty. Look at that. Look how it's moving. Watch that. You could almost, it's just calming to watch and see how that moves and pools. Look at that. All right, I'm going to try to keep this like this, and I am going to go and dry these, and I'll be right back, and we can see what we're going to do to decorate them. So it looks like, actually, once your gelatos have dried and you go to spritz them again, you're not going to do anything with it. So if I really didn't like this, I'm sure I could just take some more a gesso and go over this and start again. But really, it's going to be, this is going to be okay. So is this. So is, we're, we're going to work with what we've got here. But I think, I think now what I want to do is I want to stamp them. So I've got my trusty little stamp here that, like always, I can't tell you what it is because I have no clue. I got it at a uh, expo. 
and I always have to look at it to try to tell what uh, end is right. I just think this little stamping is always good. Just another layer. Just another layer to look at. And then I want to start with my flower garden. I am thinking if the flower garden doesn't work, texture paste now over this might be really cool. I don't know if that would be too many colors. Um, yeah, I don't know, but I'm thinking that might be really pretty. So that is something that we can think about in the future. But let me show you what I did. I The other day I took all my scraps of paper and I ran a bunch of them through the die cut. And I came up with this. And, of course, they're sitting there looking at me on my desk, and I'm sitting there thinking, what am I going to do with you? So, I kind of came up with this idea, thinking maybe, just maybe, this would be cute. Something cute to do. Put him right over that. I just have all these, they're odds and ends. So then we've got this mess here. Big mess, big, big, big mess. So let's see what we can do. Let's take our darkest one, because I think this is probably going to be the hardest one. And I really just want to want to enhance the colors. I don't want to necessarily cover up the colors. I will tell you something I discovered about um, little die cuts like this. And that is when you have a set of die cuts, you're probably going to laugh at me because I didn't know this. Okay, you all out there watching me probably already know this. I did not know this. I cut my die cuts out first and then I try then I went to stamp over them. <laughs> don't ask me why I don't know. That's just my brain just kind of worked that way. Um for those of you that have never had like a set of stamps and a die you stamp first, then you put your die over that particular stamp, and then you run it through your machine. You don't do it the other way around because I thought, why would anybody make something so difficult? Because it was difficult. I mean, you have a little tiny flower like this you're trying to stamp. Yeah, it was difficult. Ooh, all right. So I think the best way to do this is going to be to adhere it to the jar first, and then to adhere it to the card. So, how are you gonna do that, Charlotte? Well, I think I'm just gonna put a little dab of, of glue on there like that. And I wanted this guy, so I am going to touch him right there, down there on the center. Oh, maybe. Maybe I'm going to do this, guys. Maybe I'm not. Let's see. No, I don't think I am. Let me need to pick it up. Sorry about that. You're, you know, it's my hands again trying to deal with these little tiny things.
Here we go. Look how cute that is, guys. Isn't that so cute? Okay, so now I really think this is going to turn out the way I kind of had envisioned it. Because I'm working with gelatos and it's new to me. So I'm just touching this with some glue. Okay, so I've got little dots of glue. Okay, so I've got little dots of glue. And we are going to put this down on our card. Just like that. Oh, she's so cute. Look at that. Look at how cute this is. That looks like a garden to me. What do you think? Isn't that so cute? So we've got that one. Let's go for this one. I don't know that that's going to work. It's pretty big. If I am going to use this large, I would need a small. Or maybe that wouldn't work at all. This is pretty large. I could cut it off. Let's see what else we've got here. I've got something with green that might look good. Sorry, guys. I am really just kind of... I wanted to use this large one, so let's use this. This is what I wanted, so let's... Let's, I think I'm going to leave that there like that. So this really needs, if I can get some pink in here to pull that pink up, that would be good. What do I have? It's very random because I just pulled out just strips of, leftover papers that I typically would use for other things. There's not a lot of color in that. Okay, I don't like that. Let's keep this. And let's use this. As you can see, it's tiny. And then let's find one more thing. Some of them are pretty plain. That's too plain. This is really pretty. I wonder how this would look off on its own. Ooh, I like that too. So that's also pretty. Oh my goodness. Mm. I kind of need something in between, don't I? Ooh, there's something with a touch of gold. How would that look? I almost feel like because I've got yellow in this jar, I've got yellow in the background, I do not remember really doing anything with yellow. That's yellow, but it's got a lot of gray. This probably is the most boring video I've ever done. You're probably sitting there saying, get with it. Okay, I like that. So, now we're going to kind of repeat this process. And take our jar. Maybe this would be easier. Let's just put some glue on the top. And let's build... This way. Put that there. Negative that. Like that. Then we're gonna have this. Like that. You see what I did? I just layered them on like that. You see that? Let's see how that's going to work. I 
think we can use that guy there. So now, let's glue this down. Hopefully this looks something like a garden party. And I don't want this hanging off because on the ring, it's probably going to get destroyed. So this may, the placement of this may have to be different from where I wanted to have it. So it looks like we're more in the center and that's just how it's going to have to be. There's nothing I can do about that. And of course I'm looking at it thinking I've got to get an eyelet on here. So we'll see where the eyelet's going to go. That's pretty cute. Now if I really wanted this guy. You know what, I do like that. Does it take away? Does it add? I think it adds, so I am going to put it on there. So I'm just putting glue on here turn this. I think it'll be easier for me if I turn it. Look how cute that is! I guess I could snip those, but I'm not going to. So cute. Look at that card. Isn't that sweet? So we have this one, and we have this one with that background. Ooh, I'm really liking these a lot. So let's go to this, and this one, I think, absolutely needs to go in here. Why? I don't know. I just think it does. And as I'm looking at these cards, I'm wondering if I want to um, distress them. Ooh, that's kind of cute. And then, ooh, all right. Now I have to remember how this goes. So if I take my jar, this is going to be all about layering. What comes first? What's the top? Well, it was this one, this pink one here. It's at the top. Like that. You see what I'm doing? I'm just putting that on there. And then it's this one here. Just putting that on there. And I think, I think I see a little cutout that didn't cut out. So let me put a little bit more glue here because this I think is going to come next like that spread him out and then we want this one like that and then the other one went in the back Make sure this is going to stay on the card and it is ending up more in the center and I wanted it more on the side. So cute. See what that looks like? Isn't that so cute? So let's glue this down. I think gelatos are uh, great for a background. That is what I'm thinking right now, that the gelatos for a background work out really, really well. I don't see where I am. Get this down there. I apologize if you can't see. Do you see how this 
it gives a 3D effect. I really like that. And if it wasn't on a card going on a ring, I probably would leave it like that. If I was putting this in a journal, I probably would leave it like that so it wouldn't be so flat. But because of where it's going, pretty cute. Pretty, pretty cute. So there is that one. Okay, I am liking the gelatos. And I do want to use this one. So let's use it in here. See how cute that is if you don't adhere it down? If you don't flatten all your flowers? Do you see how cute that is? Um, let me go ahead and show you how it would look if I didn't flatten them, if I didn't glue them all down. Let me show you that. Okay, so if you are doing a journal page or even a tag, do you see the difference? Do you see how this is flat and this is kind of the 3D? I really, really like that. But like I had mentioned on these cards, I wouldn't do it just because I think that they'd get destroyed on the ring. So I really have no choice but to glue them down. It would be nice not to have to do that. I mean, it really would. Then I have this white space over here. Right here that I'm not real fond of. So you know what I think I'm going to do? I'm gonna see if I can get some lettering in there. I might. I could do that, but oh, well, it's kind of cute. Maybe I will. Maybe I will leave that and have something on there that looks like maybe it just kind of fell out. Just fell out. This is purple. I don't know. No, I think let's go with this one. Just like it fell out. Fell out of the vase. And it's just kind of laying there. Maybe I'll just put it like that. Now, this this uh, comes with little, little bows, this um, die cut. Let me see if I have any little bows. I didn't cut any little bows out, but let me see if I have any. Here's one. Here's a little bow. Can you see that? It comes with two sizes. So that's what the bow looks like. So we could attach a bow on there like that. So let's do it just so that you can see how that would look. See how that looks with the little bow? Just, you know, a little 3D effect. I think that you could take string, you know, like embro embroidery string or, I mean, you know, like thread, embroidery thread. You could kind of bunch it up. You could put, you could put a little uh, bow on here if you wanted to, to give it more of a 3D effect. Here's another little bow. This is lavender. Can I use it? Well, let's see if there's somewhere. This is so you can see the different sizes. That's a small bow. This is the larger bow. Um, you could put some ephemera. On. You could put little pearls or rhinestones on here. That would be really, really cute. 
Let's see if there's anywhere I could use this. I can see I need glue on that. Let's put this bow on here just because Put this one a little offset like that and then let me tack this down and then I think I think I might go ahead and distress but here's my flower garden guys and I think this flower garden looks pretty cute. Okay, guys, here's my flower garden. Let's distress and see what we think. I don't want to uh, mute out those vibrant colors. So I'm going to be careful. The gelatos are fun. All right. Well, we're discovering what to do with the gelatos, but I think the next set I'm moving on. I had fun with the gelatos, and I think I will continue to play with them, but um, I think we're going to go on. I don't know what we're going to do with the next four, so come up with something. But I thought about the garden party in the middle of the night, of course. Isn't that when the ideas come to you? Then you get so excited you can't go back to sleep. Um, I don't know that I'll be in. Tomorrow is my mother's birthday. And so I went and I got a COVID test yet again. And I hope to be able to go see her for her birthday, take her a cake, and um, celebrate I won't be able to stay there. They won't let me. I can't take my mask off, so there isn't any. Um, I can't eat with her at all. But I can take a cake that she can share with everybody that's there, which is fun. So um, here we go, guys. What do you think about that? I'll hold them up. Look at that. So even though we got into the really bright colors and I kind of had to hold my breath, look at how pretty. Even though we got splotchy. Look at how pretty that is. And then there's this one here. So I would say the motto of the story is don't be afraid of your colors. Don't be afraid to get them out. Have some fun. Enjoy. Just enjoy playing around. And I will get back here um, hopefully Friday. And uh, meanwhile, everybody smile, be happy, take care of yourselves, and I'll catch you next time. Thanks so much, guys. Bye.